In today's lesson, we're going to be going over custom operators. And this is a very interesting part of Swift. And we're going to be covering the spaceship operator, which I just recently learned about. And it's going to simplify our lives a lot when we're coding in Swift UI or coding anything with applications in general. So what we're going to be doing is essentially creating our own operator functions. And one example would be that in Python, if you want to multiply something to the power of something else, you would go to multiply, multiply two, and that would go two to the second power. Otherwise, if you put a three, it will be to the third power. And we're going to do something very similar to that since that's not built into Swift. So to define an operator, we need to go ahead and provide the keyword either postfix, prefix, or infix. Infix means it goes in between any two variables such as A and B. Postfix is going to be after a variable. So it's going to be A times times, or as you probably know very well, plus plus to increment something easily and prefix is going to be something such as plus plus a. So that comes before the variable that you want to increment. So those are the simple differences between infix, postfix, and prefix, and we're going to be creating all of these. So the first custom operator we're going to create is the infix operator of the exponential power, which is just two asterisks. If you're familiar with Python, it's going to be straightforward. And to create this function, we have to go ahead and type in function and provide the operator name, which are these two asterisks. And it's going to be of type T of binary integer. And we're going to have to provide a left-hand side and a right-hand side. So left-hand side is going to be of type T and the right-hand side is going to be of type T and it's going to return an integer. So as you can see, the left-hand side, of course, is going to be on the left side and the right-hand side is going to be on the right side of this operator. And what we want to do is return the integer value of the power, which is just power, of left-hand side, or actually we need to convert that to a double first, of left-hand side as a double, and the double of right-hand side. And to use the power, we need to go ahead and import UI kit. But now we can go ahead and actually test it out. We can type in print and here we can go ahead and type in two asterisks asterisks to the power of four. And if we run this program, it's going to give us the output of 16 and we can also do it with 10. And it's going to give us the output of two to the 10th power. So that's a very simple way to create this custom operator. But we can even take it a step further and create much, much more. So here we're going to go ahead and create a prefix operator. So right below the function, we're going to type in prefix operator, and we're going to use something funky. And this time it's going to be the pound symbol. And I'm tired of having to write print all the time. So I want to go ahead and create an operator that prints the content just with this symbol. So we're going to go ahead and type in prefix function pound symbol and it's going to be generic over t and it's going to require some text which will also be of type t and then we're just going to go ahead and print the text and it was that simple to create a prefix function so if we go ahead and actually replace the print statement with a pound symbol we can go ahead and run the program and it's still going to print to the console it's a much faster way to print to the console now we just go ahead and say print this statement and we run the program and you'll notice in the console it's going to print it because this is going to act as this print statement and all we had to do is create a prefix function for it so we can reuse that anywhere in the code so really the sky is the limit when it comes to creating this stuff and i mean the postfix works exactly the same way so of course we can go ahead and create a postfix operator postfix operator and it's going to be three asterisks and here we can go ahead and type in postfix function. And it's going to be the same name as the three asterisks. And it's going to be of type T, which must conform to numeric. And inside here, we're just going to go ahead and provide a number of T. And it's going to return T, which is any number that's numeric. And all we're going to do is return the number times the number times the number. So it's going to multiply it three times each time we use it. So now we can go down and use the pound symbol and we can print the result of two with the triple asterisk. And I accidentally wrote open here instead of operator. So fix that and run the program. 
and you're going to get the answer of 8 because 8 is the result of 2 times 2 times 2. And if we put 10 there, we're going to get something that's around 1000 and so on. So as you can see, we could even create a postfix operator and it works exactly the same way as the prefix operator. The only difference is that when you create an infix operator, you do not need to specify that it's an infix operator. But if you create a prefix or a postfix operator, you do need to specify it in the function name. Now with this information into place, we can come along to the meat of what this video was supposed to be about, and that is the spaceship operator. And this is just a way of checking whether something is less than, equal to, or more than. It has a three-way check. So we're going to delete all of this besides the import UI kit. And we're going to go ahead and create an infix operator of less than, equal to, and more than. So to create this operator, we just have to go ahead and type in function less than, equal to, more than, and it's going to be of type T, which is comparable, because we want to compare two sides. And that's where it becomes important that we have a left-hand side of type T and a right-hand side of type T. And it's going to return to us an integer. So to make this work, we need to go ahead and check if the left-hand side is less than the right-hand side, then we're just going to go ahead and return minus one. If the left-hand side is more than the right-hand side, we're going to go ahead and return positive one. Else, we're just going to return zero. So that means it is exactly equal to. So that's essentially all the spaceship operator is. It's just a three-way check that returns a minus one if it is less than the variable on the right side, it returns a zero if it is equal to, and it returns a one if it is more than. So to test this out, just go ahead and type in print one, spaceship operator two, and you're going to get the result that one is less than two. So you're going to get a minus one as a return. If you go ahead and type in three, you're going to get one because three is more than two. Otherwise you can go ahead and insert a two and you're going to get zero because they are exactly the same. So today we actually covered a lot of something that is really, really cool in Swift. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments section how that went. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.